The strawberry seedlings are now big enough to be planted out. They are taken to an experimental plot and planted in groups or families to a carefully controlled plan. Each block of seedlings is marked with its family cross. First the seedlings are laid out in their planting position and then planted. These seedlings have to be very carefully looked after. One of these little plants may be a future star strawberry variety to come out of EMR. When the plants have got to the fruiting stage, assessment can begin. The strawberry breeders walk through the plot examining the now fully grown plants. They assess them for plant habit, vigour and visible signs of disease susceptibility or resistance. The fruit from each plant is assessed for yield, fruit size and fruit display or ease of picking and of course fruit quality. Any that are of interest are marked with a yellow marker. Details of the characteristics of the marked plants, along with its position in the plot, are logged in a notebook so that they can be revisited during the remainder of the fruiting season. Here, the fruit of an interesting cross is being assessed on the plant for firmness, shape and flavour. The yellow markers have notes written on them, with the date in the initials of the person who logged it as being of interest. Some might say see again, and some might have the initials of several people with dates, to keep a record of when they revisited the plant. Any that are particularly interesting are revisited regularly. Fruit size, shape and colour are important in a commercially viable variety. Here the fruit is too big and misshapen. And here it's too small and the prominent seeds make it unattractive. This cross is both the perfect size and a perfect conical shape. The crosses that show all the desirable characteristics are selected for further trials and propagated to increase their numbers. These are then planted the following year in a trial plot. When these trial plants get to the fruiting stage, there will now be enough fruit from the selections for more detailed data collection. The strawberry team have devised a method of logging fruit characteristics using a scoring system. This chart shows the criteria which is applied to every cross. Appearance and flavour are key to a strawberry being accepted by retailers and consumers. The scores that are typed in will give the strawberry team a much clearer idea of the suitability of the selection for potential release as a commercial variety. The fruit is also divided into size categories based on the diameter of the berries. Giant, large, medium, small and unmarketable are separated out, with berries of medium size, 25 millimetres and above, and larger being categorised as class 1 fruit. Each range is weighed and this data added to give the overall yield of each selection. I'll put it onto the, I'll put it onto the table. Uh, medium 382. Uh, it doesn't taste of anything more no this one. I don't know if it's because they're a bit underripe. Right. A marketable. Uh, no, the, the credits, they weren't that interested, but it, it, that was. Uh, Large 18. Medium 184. Small. Large. 13. Uh, Acidity 3. Aromatic 3. Uh, texture. 
The fruit is tasted again at this stage, and also in some cases a promising cross might be put aside for photographing or assessment for shelf life or level of sweetness known as bricks level. Too acidic? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Here you can see that the colour of the strawberries are matched to a colour chart and this data also recorded. Consumers do not like strawberries that are either too dark or too orange. It's intensive work which has to be very carefully controlled and monitored. These selections represent only 1% of all the seedlings that were originally planted out from the crosses that were made. After assessing the yield, fruit quality and plant characteristics of these selections in more detail, it is likely that only 5 or 6 selections, approximately 10% of the selections identified as having desirable characteristics, will progress to further trials on growers' sites. When these few plants are identified, they are propagated. It is important that these plants are of the highest health status and therefore propagation is carried out in tissue culture to ensure that the plants are pest, disease and virus free. The runners of the chosen plants are taken from a plant in the field and the growing tip or meristome is isolated from it. Here they are, growing under sterile conditions in a controlled atmosphere growth room. The medium or gel they are growing on contains all the nutrients and growth regulators the plants need. The use of micropropagation techniques ensure the cleanest possible material will be available for more trials and tests in the following years. The work of the East Malling Research Strawberry Team ensures that new and better UK bred strawberries will always be in development and available for the growers and consumers of the future.